travelers. We hope you enjoy our videos. In this video, we bring you some homes that aren't on the America's uh, driving tour list of historic homes and buildings, but they could be. Uh, these homes range all the way from before the Civil War uh, through 1940. There's reasons that they're not on there, but I suspect that the, the biggest reason is the paperwork. It seems, from what I understand, it's quite complicated. But uh, we thought that you'd, you'd like seeing some of the homes that aren't on, on the list. So uh, watch the video, enjoy it. Uh, if you're so inclined, subscribe to our channel. Uh, leave us a thumbs up. Uh, that's a like, and the more likes we can get for a video, the more YouTube's apt to promote it. Uh, leave us a comment. And we want you to understand that we try not to be negative about the places that we go. We don't disparage any of the places, you know, that we visit. But we also have a responsibility to our viewers to be honest about what we're seeing and, and, and what, what we're videoing. But anyway, uh, leave us a comment, uh, share this video with other travelers, and have a blessed day. This house was built in 1895. It has around 3,000 square feet, and it's a four-bedroom, two-bath home. This house was built in 1910. It has approximately 3,000 square feet, and it's been divided into three apartments. This house was built in 1920. It's used as uh, medical offices now. 23 West Church Street, that big house. It's back that way, huh? Mm -hmm. That was the place I was saying. That used to be Dr. Gatewood's office. Mm -hmm. And prior to that, I, don't, I know his daddy was the doctor. I don't know if his daddy was at that location, but that building was real old too. I suspect all of these were built around 1910 as well. Huh? And I remember all these houses on there. They got to be old. Yeah. I don't think we can make a video out of all of them. Huh? No. Tell because a lot of those Some houses down here on Lincoln, honey, for sure.
This beautiful house was built in 1894. It has four bedrooms and three baths. It has approximately 4,300 square feet in it. This house was built in 1930, has four bedrooms, two and a half baths, and has approximately 3,600 square feet in it. This house was built in 1910. It has four bedrooms, two baths, and approximately 3,300 square feet. This beautiful white house was built in 1856, it has five bedrooms, four baths, it has approximately 4,100 square feet in it. Several years ago it was uh, damaged by fire on the inside. I don't know whether it's been uh, repaired or not, but it's still a beautiful house on the outside. But the only one that I saw, number that I saw was 316, honey. I still, I'm assuming that the house next to this one is 306. So I'm assuming this is going to be 304, but it's on the corner. It should be like 302 or whatever. That brick house down there don't have a number on it either, honey. That one across the road. Mm -hmm. That's down in the wood trees. This is a pretty house right here, though. Yeah. Look at the door and all up there. Yeah. They got four ceiling fans up there. Yeah. Well, yeah, a lot of these houses, like, if one next door was built in 1910, you know the rest of them were. Billy's sister used to live in that white house right yeah. there. Yeah. She had to build a nursing home. But that one looks, it's almost kind of like the other one. That was probably built in the 20s or 30s, honey, yeah. These are probably all 30s and 40s houses here, honey. Mm. Some of them may be a little older. Let's see if I can see a number. 528. Is that what it was? That's 316, I think, honey, right here on the corner. Well, that's... Yeah, it's 316. Okay, 316. What is that one? 312. Well, they jump for don't they? 36. So this may be 302 or 300, honey. I don't, I don't know. I'm pulling 302.
This huge house was built in 1910, has five bedrooms, two and a half baths, and has approximately 3,800 square feet in it. Can you see what I'm doing? Yeah. I'm fixing to stop right here and walk around for a little bit, huh? That one right there, was that on the? Yes. That was one of them, yeah. Yeah. I just saw the number of his. I was wondering. Uh, you going across the street? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to use this side of the street to get those because they're too big. I can't get them in the camera. I'm gonna be careful when I'm walking across the street. Yeah, if I get hit, honey, call Ken. Okay, well. <laughs> call somebody. No call the ambulance first. I'll call, yeah, I'll call them first. I'm going to say, well, he put his blinker on. I don't know why he got hit. <laughs> This house was built in 1883, it has three bedrooms, three baths, and has approximately 2,700 square feet in it. This house was built in 1910, has four bedrooms, three baths, and is approximately 2,500 square feet. Coca-Cola bottler J.T. Warren moved from 124 Taylor Street to this house, which was built in 1940. This house has five bedrooms, four baths, and has almost 5,000 square feet in it. This house was built in 1910, has four bedrooms, four baths, and has 3,300 square feet in it. This house was built in 1910, has three bedrooms and two baths, and has approximately 1,700 square feet in it. Did you get the number of it? That's 617. It is? Okay. I just remember when those girls lived there, their daddy was a Coca-Cola man, and they must have moved from, at one time it said they lived on Taylor Street. They yeah. must have moved over here. I'm just curious to know how old that house was. And I was thinking they had a pool in the backyard, and I was trying to see if that little building right there was in with this house, like mm. a pool house or something. We'll ride right around here and see. Let me see what I can see down there. It looks like it's kind of, it's a big 617. It's a big compound, if you want yes. to call it that. This isn't a one-way street, is it? No. I don't think you're going to see a whole lot, honey. It's huge back here in the back. I was thinking that was a rental house at one time. It had a rent outside. They got a fence, honey. A brick fence around it. 
Yeah, it must. That building right there must be part of it because it's bricked up all the way around yeah. it, isn't it? Yes. The big old compound. Yeah. I would have walked down a little further, honey, but there's some people down there and I didn't know. I need to write down 803. I want you to look at that one. Yeah, 803. Right down. Yeah, stop right here, get a few houses, honey, and then. This house was built in 1920. It has three bedrooms, three baths, and is approximately 4,100 square feet. This brick house was built in 1910, has five bedrooms, two and a half baths, and uh, approximately 3,400 square feet in it. This house was built in 1910. It has four bedrooms, two baths, and approximately 3,500 square feet. This the house was built in 1910. It has three bedrooms and two baths and has approximately 2,200 square feet in it. This house was built in 1910, has four bedrooms, two and a half baths, and contains approximately 2,700 square feet. We'll be all right. We're going home after this, aren't we? Yeah, as soon as we go get I mean, get go, this. go to the, by the Jackson Street place. Yeah. Let's see if I can get the number off of this one again. That's 818. I could not find out anything about this building. I do know that at one time it was a grammar school.
this building was built in 1910. Uh, it's been used as a boarding house for groups with uh, Habitat for Humanity. It has two kitchens, six baths, and there's a rec room in the basement. 